Have you guys heard that STL Tones has dropped a brand new preset pack for their STL Tone Up plugin? I'll give you guys a hint. Dude, my fingers are weird. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anthony Esponsa, and thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel to hang on me just for a little bit. I really appreciate it as always. We're gonna have some fun on this video. For those of you guys that might know, I am a huge STL Tones fan. I have several of their artist packs in my STL Tone Up and uh, even some core packs as well. One of the main packs that I've been using for a long time has been the Mark Lewis preset pack. It is probably one of my favorite uh, guitar plugins that I own, and including even on the market, like nothing really comes uh, matches up to it. But to be honest, I really haven't purchased many STL Tone Up preset packs in a while. They've kind of been hit and miss with me. You know, I do enjoy STL Tone Up and I do enjoy what it provides as far as expanding on your preset packs and stuff but you know eh, we, there hasn't been too much that i've been interested in in a while but recently they dropped a new preset pack the eddie 5153 preset pack and uh this thing is pretty killer i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you guys the eddie 5153 within a mix and then afterwards i'm gonna pop the hood open like always and we're gonna dig into some of my favorite presets in this pack but before we get started i just want to remind you guys to subscribe to my youtube channel hit the notification bell so you guys get notified anytime i drop new videos i have new videos dropping every thursday night at midnight so you guys you guys don't want to miss out all right everybody are you ready i'm ready let's go So I have my STL Tone Hub open up in my Reaper project at the moment. I have the Eddie 5153 pack. You know, I'm not big on the smaller packs that STL Tone Hub provides. I like more of the artist packs because I feel like you get more of a bang for your buck. But because uh, they modeled a lot of these, most of uh, most of these presets after Eddie Van Halen's 5153 models, uh, this is something that I really, really had to get my hands on. So disclaimer, right now, if you're looking for me to dig into the clean and low crunch presets, more the mid crunch presets, I'm not gonna do it for this video. This video is more gonna be for the high gain presets. I'm gonna be messing around with some of the mid crunch, but that's really about it. Uh, so if you want me to do the clean pickups or the the, uh, low crunch uh, presets I can make a separate video for that depending on how this video is received so just uh, disclaimer fair warning just letting you guys know I'm gonna focus more on the mid crunch and on the high gain presets all right, so the preset that I sat on for this specific demonstration uh, is preset 29. The amplifier is a Fender EVH5150 with a diesel 4x12 uh, with Royer 121 plus 421 microphones. And uh, the guitar is a Gibson LP Custom, which I'm not very big on Gibson, by the way. I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, what's also cool is that right here with a couple of these presets, you get the Precision Drive pedals as well. Uh, I'll open those up in a minute. I haven't explored that part, so you guys are going to see me explore that in real time, I guess. But uh, we'll take into that in just a minute but just to solo out the guitar track by itself i'm going to show you guys how it sounds with preset 29 which is the high gain <laughs> You 
get some crunch in there. It's high gain, but the the triplets or the uh, the gallops sound really really cool. So let's start up top. Uh, I'm gonna go to preset seven, and we're gonna kind of work our way down a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of play around. Anything that I like, I'll give some details on. So we're gonna do preset seven. Sounds too hot, but uh, preset 10. I don't know if that's built for this style of music. That look, hear how that sounded. That sounded a little messy. It sounds a little bit better when I engage the EQ. I don't know why the EQ wasn't engaged. It sounds a little bit better with the EQ. Uh, let's focus on preset nine, which is a Fender EVH 5150 with a Zilla 2x12 cab. I love Zilla, I'm a big fan of Zilla. Hopefully one day I can get my hand on one of their cabs. Uh, so I like that uh, they have Zilla cabinets involved in these some of these presets. The microphone is an SM57 with a 421, uh, Gibson LP Custom. Let's hear how the preset nine sounds. <laughs> Definitely something uh, that I can mess around with. I'm gonna go ahead and engage the EQ and I'm gonna mess around with some of the overdrive pedals for this preset. It sounds absolutely killer when you have the EQ engaged. Uh, the stomp, the stomp pedals um, keep that disengaged, but once you get over here into the EQ section, just engaging it makes it sound a lot more alive, if you will. Yeah, you definitely have some of that crunch in there. When, but the great thing is once you engage the EQ, it sounds really cool. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to skip the mid crunches right here. We're going to go right into the high gain, uh, preset 19 and preset 20. What is up with these, uh, the secondary presets sounding really messy? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's for more lead tones, maybe. Maybe that's something I can mess around with in the future. Uh, preset 19 sounds really cool. There was the Fender EVH 5150 with the Marshall 1960A, microphone SM75, eh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> The microphone is an SM57 by two, uh, Gibson uh, LP Custom. <laughs> You know, I think I know what was making the uh, those other presets sound messy is they actually have the pre the precision drive pedals involved. Um, I don't know, maybe that's why it's not sounding as great. But anyways, let's focus on preset 19 right now. Yeah, it sounds a lot more fuller, and uh, the the sound the sound is better shaped once you engage the uh, EQ. 
Uh, I don't know why the EQs aren't engaged. I don't know. Uh, we're going to end it off down here with preset 29. This is the preset that I had for my track. Uh, I should start with preset 30 and then I'll end with 29. Yeah, it's that precision drive, man. I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell happened, uh, but I'm not digging the precision drive presets. But I am digging uh, the for the the first choice of these high gain uh, presets. Uh, so this one with the high gain Fender EVH 5150 diesel 4x12 uh, with the Royer 121 by 21 421. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and engage the EQ. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play preset 29, both sides. Uh, so if you're wearing headphones, you probably want to put them on right now. Uh, I pan them left to right. They're both basically the same tone uh, with the EQs engaged. All right, let's go ahead and let's hear how the track sounds in a full mix. Sounds fantastic. Sounds really, really, really good. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. What did you think of the Eddie 5153 preset pack from STL Tones? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, there was some stuff with the precision drive with this pack that I wasn't quite digging, which is kind of weird because when I was reading the specs uh, prior to my purchase of this pack, I saw that their precision drive was involved in the pack and uh, it was involved in one, some of the presets, but it was just one of those things that it, probably the most disappointing aspect of this pack was uh, the precision drive and how messy it made some of the presets sound. But there's definitely some stuff in here that I'm going to be using for future videos and future content uh, and including maybe some stuff for my band's demos as well. It's lots of really cool stuff. If you guys want me to dig into the clean and the low crunch presets in this pack or just do an overall walkthrough of all the presets, let me know in the comments below. My channel is a metal oriented channel but if you know you guys are interested in checking out some of the other presets in this pack and you guys are gonna come back and watch let me know in the comments below i'd much appreciate it all right everybody please we're at the end of this pandemic i don't want anybody to get hurt you guys please be safe wash your ass wash your hands and i'll catch you guys later stay heavy <laughs> <laughs>